Welcome to another video from Doc Lock. I thought I'd do a, a like two re, two year review on my work van, and the reason we're doing that is just to let you know what things worked, what things didn't work, because there's so many uh, different changes I made to this van to my previous, and I wanted to kind of share share a few of them with you. Okay, so first of all, yeah, it's a it's a mess. It's been a busy week. I'm just about to clean it, so I wanted to go through. So first of all, uh, key machines. This key machine's perfect works every time if anything i probably would have re-angled it if i you know had to do it again the silka futura although it's been very annoying um it it works it's still still going strong enough managed to just uh uh curb my frustrations and just use that and that's working fine uh hpc doesn't get a lot of use but it is an awesome backup so that's fine the x horse duplicator down the back there uh works fine it's in a good enough spot uh once i've cleaned it out down the back there, you see those drink holders I mounted on a piece of aluminium. They worked really well. Uh, these drawers, they're all working good too. Some of the key ones were a little bit heavy, and some of the rollers did need attention. Uh, that was a bit of a disappointment there. Uh, the little bench over there I was trying to keep clean for, um, you know, doing any car or just a little bit more room for car work. It ended up being a bit of a shit collector. So it collected shit, and as you can see, it's there. The RW4, which I have tucked in the back behind my laptop. See that? That was a waste of time. Um, the X-Horse X VVDI key tool just eliminates that, apart from the Commodore keys. So that was a real bad investment, waste of time, waste of amount, and all the rest mounting it in. Now, the magnets we used, they're still working strong. They don't come off when you go over bumps or anything, so I was really happy with them to use on. Still happy with them. My Serco fan, still very happy with that. That's still working strong. My radio still working strong. The cupboards here, uh, they did bow a little bit with the weight. So a bit disappointing there, but they still are working. The battery, the 280 amp hour battery, still working strong. My rubbish bin, good, but I wish I had a little bit more room. Times like after, you know, um, a big job and you're fitting all these knob sets, you know, it kind of does pile up. I have been able to just push them forward, do my work, but you know, a little bit more rubbish room is probably something I should have factored in, or you've just got to be more thorough, more regular cleaning than what I've been doing. Um, all my power, all working strong, nothing to report there. Uh, my leads here to to jump cars, uh, that still, still works strong. That works off the auxiliary battery. These lights up here, um, these ones, I don't use them a lot because I don't do a lot of night work. Um, I do use them from time to time. The window tinting definitely does help to, and the one-way vision does help to reduce the um, anything on, you know, any sort of UVs coming down. That's the ground, and you can see that nothing's really coming through that. So I'm really happy with that. The bar that I put here to pull down, really good when um, you're inside the vehicle. So I'm really happy with that. And the other bar I put here just as a bit of a grab bar. So when you're in there or you're jumping over a toolbox. So really happy with those things there. All right, moving along. Oh, the other thing I did is I put a uh, connected up a squirter bottle down here for hand washing. Yeah, I've used it a few times, but generally the bottle runs out kind of quick. And because we had COVID, we then started carrying around a large bottle of water to wash our hands. Still works, but it could have been a bit better. The next thing I want to say is this flooring here. It, it's got this embedded um, raised sort of stuff. In certain spots, it actually wore out. So that's smooth now. But here it's got a little bit more grip left. So that wore out a little bit quicker than I was expecting. The Perspex roof that I put in still works good, still works strong. Lights all working good, all working strong. All right, let's move around. Okay, so on this side here we have our car tools. They do flop around there and rattle around. Generally they get a bit tangled on each other, so that was a little bit annoying. I still got to work out something for that. These drawers here all working good, and the lights, which you just turn on like that, work good. There could be better. We were using map lights that came out like to about here before, and that was much better. But the problem was they got slammed in the door too often and you forget to tuck them back in. So um, these ones seem to be usable just enough. Uh, some of the drawers with the weight of the key, as you can see, this is one roll that I'm going to have to sort of work on because um, the ball bearings and runners on that have, have kind of died. So that's going to be the next one I've, work, I've got to work on. These rollers haven't died. It was only really just one or two of these on this new model uh, case that gave me troubles. All right, so it's looking from that side. Okay, modifications to the cabin. Okay, so nothing really much has changed. Uh, one of the things I did do is I put a tablet in 
So I've got Instacode on the go and I've also got other internet capabilities there on the go, not whilst driving, but when you pull up, you might wanna run a quick code. So that's where I've used one of the tough books and that's worked good. The charger here, which is a wireless charger, that kind of got a little bit sloppy there. That's something I have to fix, but it's still working. We put in the Zello radio, that's working really well. So I'm happy with that. We've upgraded the car fridge. Uh, this one here was 150 from J Cars. It's got a compressor in it. It's got a USB charger in it. And to be honest with you, that's the best fridge. That's from uh, Brass Monkey. All right, so I upgraded the fridge. The other one wasn't anywhere near as good as this fridge. Okay, so that, that can actually freeze a drink bottle. My armrest as well, uh, now that I've upgraded to the bigger fridge, I still use it, but the fridge doubles up as an armrest. The seat covers are doing well. I've replaced this one mainly because uh, they get dirty and you can't wash them. So it's like you're... Okay, so let's talk about the motor and the vehicle. So uh, the nudge bar I put on myself, it does give a little bit of vibration. Um, going back, I probably wouldn't have bothered. It's just a fancy accessory that gives a little bit more vibration on the front. Uh, the plastic cover that goes over the top of the motor, once again, um, once you take it on and off a few times, it kind of uh, just kind of makes a bit more vibration. The actual engine in itself, I haven't had any troubles with. It did sound really good at first, and slowly by slowly, it's starting to sound a little bit less and less. So that's not great but it's still running strong hasn't given me any troubles the battery it came with is still good so nothing nothing to report there and the dual battery system we've got tucked up under here still working like a charm moving around here uh, nothing needs a tidy okay so these side rails here I put here for excess stuff worked really well I made a little um, holder there for an extension cord. I put uh, all my batteries on the front here because you don't want them floating around with your toolboxes. If you do, they can short out. I mean, they are batteries and you don't want anything shorting out. I had to replace the runners on this drawer here, but they're, they're working good now. That was the most heaviest drawer, so that's why. These ones here are good. I've got a little bit of bowing in this drawer here because of the weight. Uh, that's the screw one that has all the screws in and like, likely so, it's pretty heavy. Um, I've mounted a little mount in here just for my safety gear. Uh, that works well and they just get tucked in there. So that's what it looks like from this side. Moving around. So I have done quite a few modifications to this vehicle over the, over the time that I've had it. Um, one of the other things that fail are these struts uh, here. Probably every two years you need to replace them. This one I haven't replaced yet, but if you watch this, I know it's up, it's up all the way. It used to just come up to a certain point. So it's actually going up all the way at the moment, so I've got a little bit more life left in it. Uh, but on saying that, you don't want it too low, otherwise you will hit your head. So um, keyboard, all that, still there. So after two years of on-road service in this vehicle, um, I am still happy with it. There's not a lot of changes. There is a little bit of uh, modifications that I've made, um, just things to keep things running well. And most of these things I would I would do again. There's just slight little tweaks that I would... That I would tweak. As far as the vehicle, the vehicle's quite expensive. Um, it sounded better when I first got it. Now I'm going to have to do all sorts of things like carbon clean to try and try and get it feeling as good. It runs a little bit rougher, but it is a diesel and it is definitely worn in now. So that's the um, iLoad, automatic iLoad. And uh, if you want to watch the original video of when we uh, looked at this vehicle once we had finished building it, you can do that. If not, just leave your comments down below. If you've got any suggestions, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.